Good day everyone! In today's video, we are going to cover the mountain belts and the continental crust. This is Damzi Fanaya Campos together with Jungli Kunkun and welcome to this day's informative video. Before anything else, let's have a quick overview about plate tectonics. You may wonder about the distribution of fossils on different continents, the occurrence of earthquakes, and of course, the continental and ocean floor features including mountains, volcanoes, faults, and trenches. Well, plate tectonics actually plays a big role in all of these phenomena, as plate tectonics is a scientific theory that explains how major landforms are created as a result of Earth's subterranean movements. The Earth's surface may seem motionless most of the time, but it's actually always moving, ever so slowly at a scale that is difficult for humans to perceive. The movements of these plates are what accounts for the noticeable geologic events such as earthquakes, volcanic eruptions, and for the more subtle yet sublime events like the building of mountains. It is the collision of these tectonic plates that explains how mountains are most commonly formed. It could either be the collision of the continental and oceanic plates, the collision of the two oceanic plates, or the collision of the two continental plates. However, Mountains mostly form where two continental plates collide. Since both plates have a similar thickness and weight, neither one will sink under the other. Instead, they crumple and fold until the rocks are forced up to form a mountain range. And as the plates continue to collide, mountains will get taller and taller. The formation of these mountains introduces us to what we know as the mountain belt. So what is a mountain belt? A mountain belt is a group of mountain ranges. While mountain ranges are groups of mountains, located close together, where they often share the same geologic origins, similar form, size, and age, and have arisen from the same cause, usually an orogeny. Orogeny or mountain building is the result of collisions between two land masses. This may occur via collision of the continental crust or when oceanic and continental crust collide. Think of mountain ranges like a neighborhood of houses all built around the same time. While they are not identical, they share similar features and are similar in their overall square footage. And then a mountain belt is a group of these neighborhoods of houses. In the Philippines, we actually have plenty of major mountain ranges which are the Carbayo Mountains, Central Panay Mountain Range, Cordillera Central, the Guma Mountain Range, Diwata Mountains, Himagitan Mountain Range, Kalatungan Mountain Range, and the Kitanglad Mountain Range. And as for the mountain belts, we can show you some examples of where these are located on the globe. Beginning the Southern Asia with the Himalayas, a mountain belt, including the Caucasus, extends all the way into Europe where it becomes the Alps. On the other side of the world, in North America, we find the Rockies, which extend Alaska, to Canada, the Cascades, and the continuation of the Rockies. And in the eastern part of the United States, the Appalachians. There are also the Andes in South America. Mountain belts are typically thousands of kilometers long and hundreds of kilometers across unparalleled parallel continental coastlines. It sounds really long, right? Well, it's because it really is, and considering that tectonic plates move so slowly, the common wisdom would suggest that they must take millions of years to form. To further elaborate the topic, let's also delve into the Earth crust. Primarily, continental crust that plays an essential role in most mountain ranges formations. First, let's define what crust is and the two types of crust. The crust is the outer layer of the earth which is a thin layer between 5 to 70 kilometers thick. It is the solid rock layer upon which we live. But did you know that there are two types though? One is called as the oceanic crust and the other is the continental crust. As its name suggests, the oceanic crust is the layer of the earth that forms the ocean floor. It has a relatively high density, especially when cold and old, and has a composition that is similar to basalt. On the other hand, the continental crust is the layer of the Earth's lithosphere that carries land 
and it has a relatively low density and has a composition similar to granite. Continental plates are usually quite thick which are between 35 and 100 kilometers compared to the much thinner oceanic plates which are between 5 and 10 kilometers. In addition, the effect of the different densities of lithospheric rock can be seen in the different average elevations of the continental and oceanic crust. The less dense continental crust has greater buoyancy causing it to float much higher in the mantle. Having an average elevation of 840 meters above sea level, while the average depth of oceanic crust is 3,790 meters. When pieces of earth crust called plates crash into each other at convergent plate boundaries, continental crust is thrust up in the process of orogeny or mountain building. And the thicker the continental crust is, the taller the mountain will be. For this reason, the thickest parts of continental crust are at the world's tallest mountain ranges, like icebergs. The tall peaks of the Himalayas and the Andes are the only part of the region's continental crust. The crust extends unevenly below the earth as well as soaring into the atmosphere. Also, since the continental crust is made out of granite and is thicker than the oceanic crust, the crust is thicker under the continents and the continents themselves are covered by a thin veneer of sediments in most area. But it turns out that the continents themselves consist of two fairly different kinds of structural units. One of these is called as the cratons and the other is called orogenic belts or mountain ranges. Cratons are the oldest and most stable part of the continental lithosphere. These parts of the continental crust are usually found deep in the interior of most continents which have attained tectonic stability. That means that they haven't changed much over hundreds of millions of years. Some continents have more than one craton. Australia and Africa, for example. It is as if two separate continents have been welded together. These cratons are usually stable for a long period of time like hundreds of millions of years. The rocks that comprise the cratons have been deformed from ancient tectonic processes and it is thought that they represent the deep cores of ancient mountain ranges. It is these cores around which the continents have grown. Cratons are divided into two categories, which are shields and platforms. Shields are the exposed portion of the cratons in which the ancient basement rock crops out into the atmosphere, while platforms are the covered portion of the cratons in which the basement rock is buried beneath overlying sediment. Both shields and platforms provide crucial information to geologists about early history and formations. And then, we have also the orogenic belts, which the word oro means mountains. So, orogenic belts are basically mountain belts. They are elongated regions of continental crust that have been intensely folded and faulted and metamorphosed. They are also intruded by massive amount of magma, which cool underground during repeated cycle of mountain building. These orogenic belts differ in age, size, history, and exact origin. But they were also once mountainous regions that are now eroded to various degrees. The Appalachians, for example, are nearly flat whereas the Himalayas still extend 29,000 to 30,000 feet above sea level. To conclude today's topic, Mountain building processes are concentrated at the boundaries between tectonic plates and are especially active where the plates are moving apart or converging. By studying the origin of individual mountain belts, geologists are helping to unravel the tectonic history of our planet. With the development of the theory of plate tectonics, geologists finally had an explanation for what causes mountains to grow. 
again. This has been them together with Jung Lee, hoping that you're having a wonderful and safe day.